Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I do fountain pen, ink, and paper reviews. And today, I have a fountain pen from Dublin, Ireland. This is from Gravitas Pens and Ben Walsh, and they did provide this pen for review. This is their polycarbonate model, which is based on their larger Century pen. Really, really lightweight, even though it is, as you can see, pretty good size pen. Really lightweight, very durable, great knockabout pen, and some other really interesting features that we will share in the review. So let's flip that camera and get started. All right, when the pens come to you, they come in this faux leather pouch, which has a really nice soft feel to it. This is the Gravitas logo and name, and then this is the same in Celtic writing. And we have the included card in case you want to find them on Instagram, which I recommend you do. And threw in a couple of stickers, which kind of pay homage to the Skittles pens, which are very popular from uh, Gravitas pens. And of course, you can get like that uh, pocket pen that I reviewed last week and get it in that Skittles finish. And with scrolling like this on the pen really makes for a striking and unique pen. So you might want to check that out as well. Now the pen is again a polycarbonate pen. I think I might have misidentified it last week in my video uh, as Delrin. He does sell pens in Delrin too, but this is the polycarbonate pen. And this is 25 times, he says, stronger than, say, an acrylic pen, which I just happen to have in the pen pouch next door. So this is the Pen BBS 491. Very similar pen, as you can see, in shape and in size. So the design is somewhat similar. Both of them are, you know, fairly classic designs in shape and size, but quite different in their approach. So this is an acrylic pen, and this, as you can imagine, would be quite delicate. If you drop this, you pretty easily crack it, like I did with my Moonman 600. I am I'm still so my amber one, which I reviewed, great pen, link in the description. I dropped that thing on a tile floor, and uh, it didn't do irreparable damage, but it, it's got scars. This pen would be the same way. So a very good pen, it is a fairly durable pen, but nowhere near as durable a material as polycarbonate would be. So we are gonna drop this one on the floor and see how that goes. All right, so let's look at the design of the pen. So we tapered down at the end of the barrel to a conical, machined in, and you can see that that is nicely done. Hopefully the camera picks up the contrast there. The matte finish, it sort of has a little bit of difficulty focusing on, or at least my eyeballs do, but uh, you can see that that is all nice and crisply done, not sharp at all. And of course, polycarbonate's not gonna feel as sharp as the brass pen I looked at last week anyway. And then when we get to the bottom of the cap, we find that laser engraved Gravitas pens logo, and then this tapers down to a similar conical finial on the cap. All of this, again, very lightweight. As we take it off, you will find that this cap is really quite light. The pen overall inked is just under 30 grams, and only 12 of that is the weight of the barrel and the cap combined. combined. So that gives you an idea of the lightweight feel of this pen. So we take that cap off and actually, let's see, we can count these because we'll watch that nib. So that is one and two, right at two. Let me double check that. One, two, and you're off. All right, so very easy, quick to uncap. It posts very, very well. That is secure. It's so light. I mean, you don't even know that you've posted it, uh, but that does that very, very well. Hangs on quite well and uh, easy pen to write with posted. And coming back to the base of the barrel, and we find here at the end of the threads for the cap, an O-ring. So there's an O-ring here for the cap, and that prevents leaks. If this is in your bag, your backpack, your pocket, your purse, whatever, uh, then that helps to prevent those leaks. But that already then brings a question. Is this pen eyedropperable? And yes, it is. He has done what he needs to do to make this eyedropperable, even though it has a metal grip section, which takes a little bit more effort to seal. But he's done that. So you have this first O-ring. It will not be the last. And then, let's just go ahead and look inside while we're talking about it. You come to the second, and it's a pretty good sized O-ring here at the base of the section and the threads that hold on 
the barrel. So that should make this pen eye droppable. Of course, you're going to want to put a thin coat, a thin coat of uh, silicone grease here and uh, then you'll be able to do that. So you have a pen that is eye dropperable. It comes with a convert. It came with, did you hear that folks? It came with a converter and this is Diamine Syrah ink for the curious. We'll get to that in a minute too. But it holds, as you can see, quite a bit of ink. So it uses a converter, an international long cartridge or an international short with a reserve short further up the barrel. You have options because it can then also be eye dropperable. Now let's come to that grip section, which just like the one in that pocket pin, if you are not a fan of metal grips, let me just tell you, you might want to give this one a try because it really does hold well and the pen is not slipping around all over the place and I like that. And the, I think one of the reasons, I mentioned this in the review of the pocket pen, if you haven't seen that, that unlike some other pens that do have grooves here, those grooves go all the way up to the end of the flare here. And I really like that. It gives just even more grip. And if you write right there, uh, this, this pen's not going anywhere and it's not going to get all slick and slippery and icky uh, in humid climates and things like that. I like that. Now, looking at the rest of this, one of the things you may notice is that there is not a logo on this nib. This is a Yovo nib. This one is a medium, which means, of course, that it is a number six and that it is swappable with other Yovo nibs and, of course, others that will swap with Yovo. So that's good. It gives you options. Quite a few options, by the way, on uh, the Gravitas on the Gravitas website. So you have extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and there is a fine with some flex to it as well. So there are options. And uh, I don't know, they may already be available, but they will be soon. He's also getting this to where you'll be able to get that with the Gravitas logo on the nib. So uh, all of that means for me uh, that I have great experience with Yovo nibs. He also then inspects the nibs before shipping. I think you're going to get a good nib and uh, in both these pins I have. So all of that is quite good. The machining on this you will notice this is his area of expertise is quite good and it does have a chamfered edge. But next we want to see can this pin drop? Wait, no, that's not what we want to do next. First we should do our writing test. I think always with a pen, writing test should predate the drop test, right? Right. All right, let's see how this writes. And this does, as I said, have diamine Syrah. This is a really nice ink. And I'll do a review of this sometime in the next week. This is a medium nib. And it is Yovo, as I said before. Really nice nib, and I think this one is a really good, when I think about a Yovo medium nib, just in general, uh, I have really good experience with them. Always reliable, smooth. Uh, I know that sometimes your mileage may vary, but I've just had really good, good, I won't say luck, I've had good experience with them. Really easy pen to write with. That grip, I find it to just be very, very comfortable and, and a good writing experience. One of the things about this being polycarbonate and the grip being stainless steel is that it makes the weight of the pen very, very grip centered. And I find that to be a good thing. There is no back weightedness. So even though this is a size of pen that I might sometimes say posted feels a bit like a baseball bat, not this pen. It is so uh, grip 
centered and it's weight that it's just easy to write with and it's easy to write with this pen for a long time. I like that. If that's what you're looking for, then uh, this may be one for you to check out. I believe that was me. I think I turned just a little bit, kind of felt it. And I couldn't stop it. That was me. That was me. I repositioned. I'm a little bit of a fiddler, especially when I'm talking, you know. And uh, then that, that becomes my problem, not the pins. If it's the pen, I definitely would have told you. Uh, because that I can't stand. A pen that just keeps doing that is a problem. But when it's me, well, I guess I gotta take personal responsibility, right? Let's do a little bit of quick, uh, quick scribble, the quick scribble test. You know, I'm a big King of the Hill fan. I feel like calling this uh, the Dale Gribble test, but I'm not sure other than scribble and gribble why that would actually relate, but it'd be cool to me. Okay, so that did really, really well. Keep up was no problem. Flow is no problem. There's maybe a lift right in here. I think I felt a lift in this. I don't know if that's me or the pen. I couldn't tell you, but you know what I thought back up here. Uh, let's just try it again. Let's try it again. Okay, that lift was me. And that lift was me. So I think, I think I'm the problem, you know? I am somebody who believes very strongly that when... If you have problems with every pen or if you have problems with every person, then what you start to look at is it's not all pens are bad or everybody else is a problem. You start to say, I don't know, what's the common denominator? Okay, and these two scribbles, common denominator? James. Okay, because we've seen this in several pens at this point that were totally reliable. All right, I think now with that, it's time for the dad joke of the week. I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to laugh at my own joke. <laughs> I think I would groan if you told it to me. But there we are. Now, how about that pin drop test? Oh, wait, we should probably do a size comparison just in case this all goes badly. All right, so first we have the Gravitas pins. Then we have the ever popular Lamy Safari. And then another demonstrator pen and eyedropper. This is the Moonman Mahjong S5, kind of an unusual pen. It does have one advantage over that Gravitas pen, just one, and that is it has the uh, little belly button thing there that acts as a roll stop. There is no roll stop on that Gravitas pen. And we have the very similar in size and shape, but not material. And that is the Pen BBS 491. All of these, you know, not that different in size, even though they're quite different in style. And then we have the Twisby Swipe, also fairly similar in size. And just one more, just one more, just one more. Very different. The Jinhao 85 in stainless steel. And there you have the pins posted. Okay, so we're ready for the drop test. And what Ben challenged me to do was to drop it off a table like it might happen, you know, because it doesn't have a roll stop. It's going to roll off a table. So to show the strength of the polycarbonate, I could drop it off a table. That's what he challenged me to do. Again, it's supposed to be 25 times stronger than, say, that 491. Uh, however, I'm thinking that this... This table here is just not good enough. This floor is not particularly hard, and uh, I think it needs more. But, you know, I'm a minister, right? So what do I have lying around that might be more of a challenge? I have right here a pulpit, and that, that actually was the pen that went flying off it with much more force than I had intended. Let's go see how it did. The pen went flying across the room, and, of course, we do have a little bit of the inkage. Now, that would be expected, right? Which does bring up another question. There is no visible damage whatsoever to the pen. I don't even see, like, a mar or anything like that. But you do, of course. I mean, that's every fountain pen, right? Uh, you're going to have the inkage problem. 
And I asked Ben about the material and ink staining because what if, you know, this happens or what if I eyedropper it with a particularly well saturated ink, you know, how does how does this material resist ink staining? And he said it should perform quite well. He's not tried it with base state blue just yet, and I don't actually have any noodlers base state blue to try in this pen or, or any other. You people have sufficiently scared me away from it, but I'm getting there. I'm going to try it eventually. I know I will because it's a really cool blue and what else am I going to do, right? But I had the biggest ink mishap in my fountain pen history just the other day when I was inking this pen. It had nothing to do with the pen and everything to do with a clumsy moment in a brand new, filled more than I thought it was, bottle of Diamine Syrah, right? All over the counter and all over the pen and all over my hands. And uh, it was an absolute mess. But it cleaned up well. That ink was all at this end of the pen, which as you can see, no issues there whatsoever from that other mishap. So I'm confident this will clean out just fine. All right, let's wrap up on this polycarbonate gravitas pen, which as you can see, cleaned up just fine from that drop test. So uh, that all went just fine. No damage whatsoever to the pen. So you have a pen that's lightweight, durable, well-made. I love the machining on the grip section, just like I did with the pocket pen with both of them. It was impressive, is impressive. Um, nothing but good experience so far. Keep in mind, it is a minimalist design and that means there's no flourish no clips no roll stops anything like that for some of you that'll be a thing but if that doesn't bother you and if you don't mind carrying it in that case or in your pocket or your backpack or whatever which a lot of you do anyway this pen for some of you is going to be an absolute winner i really like it it's well made and uh, you just you can see the pride of his work in this pen and I love it when we can support independent pen makers. That's just always, to me, a win. All right. Thank you so much for likes, shares, and subscribes. And if you have any questions about this pen or you want to share, is this a pen for you, not for you? What do you like? What do you not like? What appeals to you? What doesn't? Let that be known in the comments below. And if you've got questions that I can answer, I'll be glad to share that with you as well. God bless you. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next review.